Hi, welcome to another Hand Power SQL training video. In the previous video, we talked about the introduction to database and we also introduced ourselves to the structured query language. In this video, we will take a look at how to get set up for SQL and also the basic syntax of writing SQL. To get set up for the purpose of this course, we would be using our phpMyAdmin GUI interface. So, from the previous PHP lessons, if you have successfully installed your exam, then you can go to your control panel and make sure your Apache server is running the same thing for MySQL. Once both are running, then you can visit localhost slash php myadmin on your system. Once you visit the localhost slash php my admin, you should have a screen that looks like mine. Now, on these tabs, you would have noticed that we have databases, SQL, status, user account, export, import, and more. For the purpose of this SQL tutorial, we will be using the SQL console. As within this console, we can write our SQL queries and also run them to see their results. Aside doing this, there are other means of getting set up for SQL which have been described in our manual. Now, let's discuss the SQL syntax. Mostly, when we talk of database, we always mention tables. You need to understand that data stored in a database are always stored in form of a table. And database always consists of either one or more tables. Each of those tables are identifiable by their name. And each table in a database contains records which have rows and columns. The rows of data in a database A row of data in a database is otherwise known as a record. Now, let's take a look at a basic SQL statement. We need to know that most actions we need to perform on a database are done with SQL statements. When we talk of statements, statements come in form of the queries we make to a database. Let's take a look at this example. This is an example of a select statement. This will fetch all records in a table called customer. And the database table customer will consist of several fields, e.g. the contact name of the customer, the address of the customer, the country of the customer, and many more. A database field is also known as a column in a table, and this is designed to maintain specific information about every record in the table. Now, let's take a look at things we need to note about SQL. SQL keywords are not case sensitive, meaning this select keyword I'm using here can also come in all small letters.
but in most cases when we see sql queries we always note that most of these keywords are always written in uppercase this is just a writing style guide also we need to note that some databases require semicolon at the end of each sql statement Semicolon is the standard way to separate each SQL statement in database system that allows more than one SQL statement to be executed in the same call to the server. Now, let's look at some of the most important SQL commands. In SQL, we have some very important commands we will continue to use in our day-to-day -day interaction with SQL. The SELECT command is used to extract data from a database. With the SELECT command, we can retrieve data stored into a database. Now, let's look at the update. With the update command, we can update data entries that exist in a database. The delete. The delete, just like the name, is used to delete data from the database. The insert. The insert is used to fill in a new data entries into the database. The create command. The create command. The create command can be used to create a new database or database table. The alter command. The alter command can be used to modify a database or a database table. And lastly, the drop command. The drop command is used to delete a table or delete a table index.